I am Iana Jones. I was an Asbury Academy student this past year, and I painted Impressions of Outpouring. I am a homeschool student, and I was at home, uh, not really planning on going anywhere. I'd heard that worship had continued at Hughes on Wednesday, but it was on Thursday around like 11 or so. I really felt that I needed to go. Iana was on the third day of a cold, so she was feeling pretty miserable. So she came to me and said, Mom, I don't think I'm going to go this morning. And I said, that's fine. You can not go, but just know that we're going to be later than usual. So that's fine. So a few minutes later, I see her, and she's completely dressed and is tying her shoes. And I was like, so you're going? And she said, yes, I feel like I need to be there. I said, okay. The Holy Spirit just kind of spoke to me, and he said, um, bring a canvas. And my first reaction was, a, a canvas? Um, okay. And I walked to my room to pick it up and I asked, why? And then he said to capture the moment. And not too long later, she came back in. She had her easel bag over her shoulder and all of her stuff. And she's holding a canvas and she's grinning from ear to ear. And I was like, so you're painting? And she said, yep. That's what I'm doing. I said, well, that's going to be fun. We drove onto Asbury campus, and I felt a distinct difference. It was lighter, and the presence of the Lord was just there. And it just got thicker and thicker and thicker. And when we got here, I just... It was hard to describe. I kind of comfortable that the Holy Spirit brings. I set up shop on the balcony... I supported a small canvas for sitting on a table with a hymnal and a Bible and then wrapped those in brown paper to make sure they didn't get paint on them. And then I just sat there for a minute and just asked the Lord, like, how do I do this? How do I capture this moment? I can't really describe too much of how it happened. It was just a lot of worship and observation and and praying into what I was going to paint. Best way I can put it is that I may have held the brush, but it really wasn't me. I've actually had family members, um, my sister in particular, say that I am a good artist, but there was a level of expertise that was beyond my ability at the moment. I want them to be able to remember what the Lord did for them and what he did here. This painting, God speaks to every person differently through it. That's why it was created, as a reminder and something to hold on to. And there are many other things that people can see in it and ways that the Lord has even shown to people a depth of what he did here and across Asbury's campus and even across the world at this point. I wound up staying overnight from Thursday into Friday, um, on second day into third day, really. And that was a big step for me because I really felt like the Lord was asking me to do that. And I deal with chronic pain, among other issues. And losing sleep is not a good plan. And I just said, Lord, I'm going to be spent. And he said, I'll fill you up. And just being able to sit in his presence and see all the people that were there really just ministered to me in, like, that's what eternity is going to look like. A lot of pe people kind of want to paint this picture of eternity looking like everyone standing in rows and lifting their hands up to the air, but it w there will be worship, but worship is lived. And being able to see people live worship as praying for one another, as encouraging one another, as giving hugs and dancing and painting and creating and even eating snacks in the back room, like just being able to see that gave me such a larger appreciation and desire 
for that eternity, for when the world is made new.